it is the start of yet another day here in Venice, Italy. This is our last full day tomorrow. Actually, this is our last day. Our train leaves super early tomorrow. So we're gonna walk around, take in as many of the sights as we can. But right now we've got our GPS set to take us to a uh, bookstore that Amy's wanted to go to the whole time here. So that's where we're making our way to. Libraria Aqua Alta. Okay, so we're actually gonna do a little detour over to the Campanile Tower. It opens at 9.30 a.m. If there's not a long line, we're gonna go to the top because apparently on cool, clear winter mornings, you can see the Alps in the distance and I just think it'd be cool to get a bird's eye view of Venice too. We came out pretty early today and it's funny because we've been able to kind of see the hustle and bustle. It like grew from nothing and it's getting busier and busier, but we've been able to like see the birth of it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, all the little kids going to school over in our neighborhood and people coming to deliver things to restaurants. It's just cool. It's like we're watching the city come to life. We're back in San Marco Square this morning and there is no one here. I think it's because it's only 9.30 and stuff is just about to start opening like the basilica and the tower so the, i do think i see like a queue um already going for the basilica but hopefully there isn't a line for the tower we're gonna see all right so this is the thing we're gonna try and go up in the top of and then obviously there's saint mark's basilica we audible again i think we're gonna audible save the 20 euro, and go into St. Mark's Basilica for free. Okay, so we went to go into the Basilica and they said that the, our bag was too big, um, our backpack. So we went to this little building and rented a locker for an hour to drop it off. Now we're going back in. Harder to get in this place than I thought it was gonna be. Think it'll be worth yeah, it? Yeah, I hope so. I think it's gonna be worth it. I think it's gonna be really cool. Just got out of the basilica. Crack, what'd you think? Very cool. Not free to get in unless you're just worshiping. You could go into the side door. It's over to the left, like around the building. And if you just want to go in for worship and prayers, you can go in there and you, you'll get a glimpse. But obviously, you don't want to do that unless you're actually going in for worship. Um, but yeah. it's only six bucks to get in to see. Six euro. Or yeah, six euro to get in to see everything. And it is beautiful. The murals are incredible. It's like totally gilded and gold all of the ceiling so yeah it's like beautiful. a it's all gilded like gold mosaic so pretty cool sometimes the lines can get crazy though so if you're gonna come come in the morning because yeah. i don't know if the line is worth it sometimes it opens but. at 9 30 just like the bell tower and we probably waited in line for like maybe 10 minutes make sure your backpack's not fat marshall has his coat in there so that's partially why yeah take everything out of your backpack and then you can go in with it but we had to pay two extra euro because i had my freaking coat in my backpack god <laughs> Have a book back. Yes, we are. How about it? How was the bookstore? It was okay. Crowded and small. 
I think it's not so much a hidden gem anymore. <laughs> yeah. But it's so cool to see. That tower right there is definitely leaning. It's like this. Before coming to Venice, uh, one of Amy's sister's friends named Brooke. Hi, Hi Brooke. Brooke, we haven't met yet, but she sounds really cool. She's been to Venice and she was like, guys, you really only need one day there. And we were like, no way, like it's Venice. I couldn't see us, only needed one day. I'd say, in my opinion, she's 100% correct. Yeah. Anything over one full day here, it gets just kind of a little bit boring. In our opinion, you might not think so. Yeah, that might not be everybody's opinion, but it's just really touristy and there's not too much to do, honestly. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but... No, there really isn't like a lot of historical sites like Rome or Paris or anything like that. I mean, there's definitely some, but yeah, yeah I think that's so... right. You could 100% do Venice in a day. If you're just like whipping through Italy, you have like a week, you could do it in a day. Yeah, I'd suggest doing it in a day because it's kind of losing its magic a little bit for me today. Just because we've seen everything already like once. Yeah, and then like because the newness is wearing off and like the tourists are still around, I'm just kind of like. Ah. Right. We're gonna go get some sacchetti for lunch, which is like basically Italian tapas. Have you ever had tapas in Spain? Little bites for lunch. A couple. Maybe uh, a couple of spritzes. Yep. Glass of wine. And then, and then it was my idea to get on one of the ACTV vessels and sit on the back and just ride down the Grand Canal. Yeah, and our stop Salute is the perfect ending for the Grand Canal, so we can just ride it all the way up. Then we'll just turn around and ride it back and get off at our stop. Yep, it'll be super fun. It'll be a good way to get like the whole of Venice on our last day. Yeah. Quick stop home, now we're going back. We're going to get some food and some Aperol spritzes. food here and uh, sorry it's a little loud but we just got our food here they gave us these napkins over the food because the seagulls apparently will just like swoop by and steal it so it's actually i think the best opera spreads i've had so far i actually really like this one here is the food it is I don't know. We're gonna have to taste it until you guys. And we got two. These, I know that's tuna and caramelized onion. I know the tuna and caramelized onion because I'm scared of it. What do you think? Yeah. It's very like ready. And she said it was um, a veggie one. I'm not sure what's on the inside. They're not bad at all. They're just not as hot as I thought they'd be, but it's cool. This thing, I don't know what it is, basically tastes like nothing. This is like oily bread, kind of. I'm not hmm. sure what it's supposed to even be. It's supposed to be like fried mozzarella with ham. Mm. This one looks really good. This one looks good. It's got some kind of like like cheese sauce underneath. Um, anytime, dude, anytime there's cured meat involved, I'm in. I actually think I like the tuna one better. Really? <laughs> Sounds good. Oh my god, it's so good. It's like a herb bread with sun-dried tomatoes on top. Marshall has to try it. Oh. Mm hmm That one's definitely in the lead. It's like tangy. 
a little vinegary. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, super like juicy and like fresh tasting. Mm. The spread is like herby. That's the best one so far. One more. Like blue cheese. I don't know. A little balsamic on there, I think. Mars isn't a huge fan of blue cheese. Mm -mm. Amy's gonna love it. Amy's you think I'm gonna love it? I love blue cheese and I love balsamic. I think I'm gonna love it. I need some more of the balsamic, but it was really good. No, say it All right, we just finished up. What do you think, Craig? Overall, honest opinion. Honestly, it was okay. This is yet another, like, I have not been blown away by the food in Venice, like, at all. This place was super highly rated. Like, every review I read was like five stars and said it was incredible, and I just thought it was okay. I'm exactly the same way. That's been almost every single place we've been at in Venice. Like, I haven't been blown away by anything. I hate to be like negative Nancy's if we're I coming know. across like negative, but I just haven't had a meal like blow me away yet. Like, I will say the vibe of this place is really amazing. Right across the way here is where they repair some of the gondolas, so that's been kind of cool to look at and see. Um, I don't know. It seems like kind of like a mix of locals and tourists. It's also a little stressful going in there and like it's really busy because I was like getting all flustered because we went in and we ordered and the two girls behind the counter, they were like, Marshall came back out here because I was like, you just go ahead, I'll pay. And they were like, go get your friend, go get your friend. And I was like, what? So I came back out and I was like, Marshall, come back. And they were just trying to help us because the seagulls like swoop in like crazy here and they were like, they'll just snatch the food right off your plate. Hence the napkins. <laughs> and we saw the seagulls try to do that to somebody, so it's very real. But, but yeah, it was worth it. Maybe just come get a couple of the little crostinis and grab a drink if you want to hang out and watch the guys repair the gondolas. So far, not very impressed with the food. My favorite place for drinks is actually like a tiny corner pub it's literally right by the us. Corner pub, yeah, but it's Italian. Yeah, like it's all Italian. Very Italian. But so that's where we're going now. We're going back. All right, we're back at our favorite place. She got some wine. I got my overall spritz. This has become the go to spot, so we're gonna get a little buzz on and then get on the ACTV. Salute. All right, so we just drank a couple of beverages. A couple of beverages. Feeling a little bit buzzy. It's perfect. <laughs> we wanted. Perfect amount of buzziness to. Hop on the ACTV and cruise up the Grand Canal. There's a very light glow left from the sunset. We haven't really ridden on the Vaporetto. On the Vaporetto at night. So we're excited to hop on at night and uh, take a little cruise. Got a little buzz, got a little warm feeling. So it should be super, super fun. Okay, so we've been wandering around trying to get on the ACTV for like almost an hour now. We waited on the platforms for quite a long time and yeah. finally Amy pulled out her phone and Googled like, is something happening with, with ACTV or what's going on? And it turns out there's a nationwide Italian public transport strike today. Since she looked that up, we've realized, like thinking back, we have not seen one ACTV. Like Vaporetto at all today. Nothing going one. by. The cruise down the Grand Canal is not gonna happen. We're just hoping now that the, that it's back up for- Tomorrow uh, morning. Tomorrow morning when we need to catch a train. Otherwise we're gonna yeah. literally be walking across all of Venice to get to the train. No, no Grand Canal cruise tonight, so we're gonna go just have dinner. Okay, so we just um, came to Ristorante 
Messner in our neighborhood of Dorsa Duro, and we've walked almost nine miles today all over Venice. Our feet and knees are achy. We still have packing to do, so we kind of just stumbled into this restaurant, ordered food. We're gonna eat it, go back, pack, and fall into bed. I'm exhausted right now. I'm sleepy. Down. What do you think, Libby? Right. Came. Here's my pizza. It's a Diabola pizza. Yum. And I get carbonara. Classic. That pasta's definitely handmade. I will warn you now, this is not going to be the most comprehensive of food tastings. This is going to be a wolf down and go back to the apartment. Okay. See you guys later.